Hi everybody, this is Andre. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an art supplies haul. I want to show you my latest purchase in terms of art supplies. So here we go. Let's start with the palette knives. This is a pack of five palette knives. The company name is Sonet. It's a Russian company and I've been using their products for many years now and I've been quite satisfied with their quality. I'm going to start with the number 5 because when you're doing the oil painting you normally start with the biggest shapes. So I use this one to create the biggest shapes in my paintings. For example, when painting the sky or the land. I like it because it's lightweight, very comfortable to use and you can pick up big quantities of oil paint and create the shapes that you need. The handle is also beautiful, uh, it's made of wool and it's lacquered, but all this beauty is gonna vanish after a few uses, so I'm admiring it while I still can. The next one is number 4, which is also quite big, so you can use this one also for bigger shapes, but I especially use it to paint trees, buildings and so on. Number 3 is my favorite palette knife. It's very versatile and you can both pick up a lot of paint with it and work on big shapes, but you can also work on smaller details. And to be honest, this is the one that I use the most. I basically bought this entire new set just because my last palette knife, which had a similar shape, broke. So as you can see, this new one is made out of a single piece of steel, whereas my old one was welded and uh, it just broke in my hand when I was creating a painting and that was really frustrating. It, al it almost ruined the artwork, so you know, I specifically looked for a set of palette knives that were not welded. Number two is great for impasto painting. It picks up a large amount of paint and you can create beautiful rich shapes with it. Finally, number one is for creating tiny shapes. I also use this one quite often, uh, especially when I'm working on something that has small details like the windows of a house or the branches and leaves of the trees. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you the canvases. I bought a pack of five. So here's a linen canvas, a bag of canvas wedges, that you stick in the corners of the canvas so it doesn't lose its shape over time. The canvas is from Loxley, it's 100% linen, premium quality. The stretcher bars are made from pine wood. The canvas is triple primed and this is a great thing because this ensures that the oil paint doesn't sink into the canvas and it also gives it a smoother surface and you can use it uh, both for oils and acrylics but I mainly paint with oil colors. Let's do a quick unboxing, I want to show you the texture of the canvas, so there's the usual silica gel to protect the canvas from humidity. Uh, these are the wedges, that's some high quality linen. I use these canvases for all my big paintings, these are 16 on 20 inches and all my clients are satisfied with them. I received a lot of good feedback regarding the quality of the canvases. Okay, so now let's get to the cherry on the top, the oil colors. The first one is Mars Brown Deep. I use it for painting the roads, the land. This is Celestial Blue. I use it to paint the sky and also for shadows, especially cold shadows. I got two of each one. Okay, the next one is yellow ochre. I use it for underpainting and also to paint the soil, the land, the yellow grass and so on. Cerulean blue, I use it also for painting the sky and the shadows. I use blue for shadows because it makes them more transparent. So this is a new color for me, it's turquoise blue and I've never used it before. I bought this because I want to experiment a little with it to create landscapes and shadows.
These two are cadmium yellow. I use them to create greens. I never use green straight from the tube. I always create different shades of green by mixing other colors. I also use cadmium yellow to create certain accents on the canvas or to create the light. This is ultramarine light, I use it to paint the water and also when I have to paint very dark shapes because I don't use black at all in my paintings. I got two titanium whites, I actually use this color very seldom. I never use it when creating shadows or penumbras because what you get is very muddy, muddy colors and I don't like that. So basically use titanium white only for creating light and only mix with a few other colors. This is ochre light, it's a good choice for doing underpainting. This is cadmium red, it's a very good choice when painting red clay roof tiles. As with all other colors, I never use this red straight from the tube, but I mix it with a little bit of ochre or cadmium yellow to get the color that I need. I use cobalt blue to get beautiful, cold, transparent shadows. This is burnt sienna, I use it to paint terrains and also to maybe paint objects that are standing in the sun but not in a very bright light. The burnt umber is also used for terrains. This is cadmium lemon, I use it to create cold light. So next I'm gonna show you what these colors look like on the canvas.
Okay guys, that was the color demo. I hope you liked it. I actually used these five colors. These are my favorite ones. Ultramarine light, cadmium yellow, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow medium and yellow ochre. The other ones are for experiments and testing. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.